So what I want you to understand is people are just very skeptical right now and they're just being discerning where they put their money. So they're going to take some time, consume what you provided, possibly go look at a little bit more of your stuff, talk to some other people and weigh their options, period. They're going to do that. So that means you might not see sales as fast or conversions as fast as you used to, or you might not see them as fast as you want them to. What I'm going to cover today, I want to talk about some mini launch debrief and market shifts. So we all know that for probably since COVID, the online space has shifted. Things have changed. This is not something we're going to stop talking about until it's no longer something we need to talk about. Right now, things have shifted quite a bit in the online space since all of that. And what we're finding is there's a reason, there's a couple of reasons that things are shifting so much. One is because we have more people online than we've ever had before. So there's just so many people. If you even think prior to COVID, there wasn't this many people online. And there's, you know, anybody can just hop online and start a business. So we have more people than ever before. The second thing is because we have so many people, we have so much information. So there's a lot more content going out. There's a lot more information and there's a lot more options and choices for people when it comes to who they want to learn from, who they want to invest with, who they want to give their time to. There's so many people and so much content that people are definitely diluted right now. People are very overwhelmed and inundated with just content, but also a lot of options. Right. We talked to a lot of people from this past workshop and you know what they said to us? I'm interviewing you and about five other coaches. I've never, ever been put in that category of we're talking to you plus these other people. It's, if they're talking to me, they're ready to buy with me. We heard from a lot of people and they are literally talking to me and many others. So we are being compared right now. I've always said that we are so competitionless. Right. And I still believe that to a huge degree because of the way that I do what I do is so unique. However, people have options and they're exploring them. So people that just spent five days with me are comparing me to five other people. OK, handfuls of other people. I want you guys to understand that because that's never actually been part of my outcome or result. I've never very rarely ever had someone say I'm comparing you and others. They usually go through my stuff and they're like, I want to work with you. How does that work? What does that look like? And I don't usually get the response. I'm actually comparing you. So I want you to first and foremost, understand that that's a thing. We're not like the top priority for our people. They are looking at other people. They are exploring other options and you have to know that. Okay. So don't go into your workshops or your weekly lives, or don't go into like putting content out and freaking out because people aren't buying right that moment from you with you, right? Like they are exploring options because there's so many. Okay. So fact, okay. People are also more discerning. They're definitely consuming a little bit more content before they're willing to get into a conversation. So they're a little more skeptical. This does not equal broke. Okay. They're skeptical. They're discerning. They're consuming a little bit more of your stuff before they make a decision to talk to you. So if you're putting content out and you're going live or you're doing a workshop and you're getting in your head and making a big story and you're spiraling out of control because you're like, oh my God, people didn't buy right away and they're not talking to me. 90% of the people that registered for my workshop didn't speak to me. 90% of the people have not talked to me at all. So that doesn't mean anything for my sales. Okay. I think we're counting right now. We're still well over a 50 something thousand dollar weekend. We're not like losing money here. It's just taking longer, okay? So what I want you to understand is people are just very skeptical right now and they're just being discerning where they put their money. So they're gonna take some time, consume what you provided, possibly go look at a little bit more of your stuff, talk to some other people and weigh their options, period. They're going to do that. So that means you might not see sales as fast or conversions as fast as you used to, or you might not see them as fast as you want them to. Because people are not buying in your timeline. They're buying when they're ready. And they're going to look at options first, okay? So this does not mean, oh my God, sales are harder. Oh my God, no one has money. Stop with that, guys, stop. It just means 
that they're exploring their options and weighing their pros and cons. And you just happen to be in that mix and you're going to need to be patient and wait. Okay. So we have people right now that wanted to check out some of our podcasts. They wanted to go back in our Facebook group and watch a few more of our trainings before they wanted to talk to us. In the past, when we've done workshops, we have always booked free 10 minute calls with every person that registered. And it was a way for us to build trust, build a no like, and trust. And it was a way for us to kind of get some data on where are you at and what do you want to get from the workshop and then really customize the sessions for those people. It was always a packed value call. And in this moment, in this launch, zero people, zero booked that call with us. Not one, not two, literally nobody. Everyone was a no or no one answered. It was either they didn't answer or they were a no. Not one person said yes. And we had hundreds register for the workshop, okay? This isn't like, we didn't get in our heads and go crazy about it. People are so busy and they don't want to talk to us first. They want to go through our content and they want to see if it's worth the time to talk to us. So this goes back to what I say with like, nobody owes you anything, right? Just because you're working hard and you're showing up and you're going live for five days, they don't owe you their time. They don't owe you their money. They don't owe you their attention. This is so important for you to understand. They don't owe you anything. And so we realized that in this launch of like, we're hosting a free workshop. We're, we're offering for you to get in a call. And this wasn't even with my team. This was with me. I'm offering for you to get on a call with a seven-figure coach for 10 minutes for free. And I'm not even going to pitch you. Flat out, no. It was a no. And it wasn't anything to do with me. It's because they don't have and want to spend their time getting into a call where they don't know me right now. And they don't know if they want to buy. They don't know if I am worth their time. I want to make this very clear because, you know, I hear this a lot. I actually got like a, I had a conversation with a girl this weekend or a woman this weekend where she DM me and she's like, how do you deal with you show up? You go live, you put out all this content, you even share super valuable, like vulnerable content and story. And then no one even responds. No one acknowledges it. No one even engages with it. And you put all this like vulnerability out there for the world and they don't respond. How do you not take that personal? And the thing that I have to keep bringing it back to for you guys is that like no one owes you that. You chose this path right? We chose to be entrepreneurs. If you want recognition, applause, and, and if you want, I talked about this on the podcast today too, but if you want people to applaud you and clap for you and you want people to acknowledge you and like you want people to like, you want to get something out of everything that you do, you have to get a job, right? Because when you have a job, you go to work, you check in, you have a list of things to do. And when you finish those things, you are acknowledged and you are paid. But that is not how entrepreneurship works because no one owes you anything, right? No one owes you a paycheck. No one owes you their money. Nobody owes you an applause. I've never gotten applaud for anything I've done, guys. No one ever acknowledges shit. We have to get over this, okay? You're either all in because you have a mission and, and you have something important to say and you're gonna say it whether people acknowledge it and listen to you or not. Or you're going to get into this online entrepreneurship and you're going to be very disappointed when no one cares what you have to say. People are going to buy from you when, they, when you say the right thing at the right time. They're going to buy when you learn how to present your solution to that specific person in such a way that they recognize and identify with it. And that takes practice. I am 20 years into my entrepreneurship. I didn't get here overnight. I'm 20 years in. Some of you are trying to go from nothing to like million dollar status and you have all these expectations of what you think everybody should be doing and you've got to get out of your head with that because you're going to always go slow, you're going to struggle and you're going to be disappointed, okay? The market today is, it's, it's all about numbers. It's a numbers game. You need to hit your numbers and you need to plow through them really quickly and release all attachment to it, okay? Otherwise, you're just going to go slow. You're going to have a hard time. So in order for you to thrive in today's economy, guys, 
we need to pivot. We need to be adaptable to how people are buying today. They're not buying the way they were prior to COVID. They are not buying the way they were two years ago. And all of you can recognize this because you're probably doing a lot of what you've been doing for many years, and you're probably doing 10 times it, and you're noticing that you're not getting the result that you did before when you did less. That is something to pay attention to. 